Many pundits in the states believe the election results might take some time, perhaps quite a lot longer than usual this year. Cho and Jung guides us from Election Day to Inauguration Day. People often think of elections as a one-day event, but in the U.S., different state rules, time zones, and deadlines mean the whole process takes much longer. This is how the U.S. election works, starting on November 3rd. It's not the total number of votes that decides a U.S. presidential election, but rather the electoral votes that decide who will be in the White House. And all of the electoral votes in the state go to the same candidate, the one who won the popular vote in that state. For example, in California, the state with the most electoral votes, there are two senators and 53 House representatives, so the state gets the 55 votes. Whoever wins in California gets all of them. The media are usually able to announce a projected winner on election night itself, but there are still many votes left to be counted in the following days. There are different deadlines for mail-in ballots, usually three days after election day, but in the case of Washington state, as late as November 23rd. Once each state has counted up all the ballots, an official winner is determined for the country as a whole. By December 8th, each state has to produce a certificate indicating the final vote count and each candidate gets the votes in the Electoral College. For all but two states, it's winner takes all. The elector cast their ballots on December 14th in their state's capital city. And then the results are sent to Washington, D.C. A few weeks later, on January 6th, the Senate and the House of Representatives assemble at the Capitol building in Washington. If one candidate has a majority of 270 or more electoral votes out of the total 538, then they're announced as the president-elect. If no candidate gets to the 270, then the House decides in a vote. Finally, on 20th of January, the new president and the vice president take the oath of office at the west front of the Capitol. The vice president goes first, followed by the president, sworn in by the chief justice of the Supreme Court. Chae Won-jung, Arirang News.